Okay, dried fish, dried meat. Uh, oh, I have 11 simple bags. I didn't sell those while I was out. Okay. Uh, we have a few sticks. Don't need those. I have a stone axe. Why am I carrying a stone axe? I don't need that. I have iron axes. And I don't even do that kind of work anymore, so I have people to do that for me. I'm just that good. Uh, let's grab 40 stone. Okay, let's begin this house. Uh, we will also need logs as well. I'm gonna go in. Bonk. Bonk. I don't know, man. Fried angler fish may be delicious. Mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> if you ever try it, you let me know, okay? But I'll, I'll wait to hear from you first. I may need to bump my log production again, though, because we don't seem to be getting very many of them. Okay, get another batch of stone, carry on with this building. Forty of those. I'm probably actually going to need a new hammer soon as well, so... Let me just make a hammer while I'm thinking about it. But yeah, when you watch those documentaries, there's some weird shit lives down there, right? Some crazy stuff on this world. It has been a while since I watched a good nature, uh, nature documentary, though. Um, I think the last one I watched was actually that one that Will Smith did. <laughs> oh, this is still a wooden wall. Yep. I was like, why isn't it letting me put the stone in? But yeah, it was the one that uh, Will Smith did on the uh, National Geographic. And no, before we all joke, he didn't go around slapping the animals. <laughs> um, let's put some more... Actually, let's get this done. Herbalist Hut Foundation. And there's the broken hammer. Nice. Alrighty. Um, what else can we do? We should probably grab some more sticks and finish a bunch of this stuff off. Head over here where there's usually tons and tons of sticks. Lots of saplings in the woodland over here couple here as well. I'm gonna let those grow into trees. There's loads of deadfall, but oof, that's tedious. Yeah, I'm gonna leave these closer to the town to regrow. There's one in town as well. There's a... Uh, uh, there's a spruce tree that's growing there. I'm gonna leave that. Because, you know, it'll add a little bit of nice... Um, topography. I really do love the fact that these trees grow, like, ever so slowly, like, they go from being tiny little, um, like, sprouts in the ground to growing up to these and eventually turning into thin little trees like that, and it's really good. Like, there's nothing in this game that's rushed, you know? Oh, that's a stick. That's a very crazy looking stick. I'm going to take it.
We need a few hundred of these, um, and then we can carry on with the fencing. Oh! Did I already loot this? I haven't. What is this? An iron axe? Firewood, always useful in the winter. Uh, why can I no grab that? I did see a bow. Oh, there it is. I've got a bow, bronze arrows, furs, leathers, and a copper knife. Hmm. That everything? I guess this is a sitting stump. So you guys, uh, you've looked at the schedule for the stream this week, right? <laughs> you've seen what we're going to be getting up to, yeah? So I'm also streaming Wednesday, Thursday this week. As well as Friday, Saturday and Tuesday as well. I feel like lately I haven't been putting in as many streams as I could. You know, um, this won't be a regular weekly thing, though. Just to disclose, this is just for this week for now. Mainly because last week got um, kind of disrupted with the whole wood smoke setting off the uh, uh, the building alarms and breaking one of the streams in half. And I feel like a couple of, for the last couple of weeks before that, there've been disruptions to the streaming schedule. And I thought, you know what? You guys, you support me so much, I want to at least put a few streams out there this week. And make some good progress on the Outer Worlds. You know, like, it took us three, four streams just to get off the starting planet. And on top of that, I've scheduled in a bunch of video editing uh, to get the YouTube stuff back up and running, because I was... Kind of falling behind with that again, and it's time I kick myself in the arse and get some work done. Schedule this cray cray, right? Right? So yeah, I'll be here all week. I only hope that uh, we don't get so much smoke. At least I can have the door open and get some fresh air while we do this. Because it's getting warm in here now. Mainly because I've got my gaming PC running and, uh, yeah, that belts out some heat. But I need to get some, uh, I need to get some air cleaner. Um, I need to get the compressed air cans to clean the, uh, the inside of this thing. I mean, I, I gave it a as much of a clean as I could. I didn't have any compressed air back in the UK when I shipped this thing out. I meant to go and buy some so I could give it a good full clean through and I just didn't. Ooh, we can build the hunting lodge. Nice. Okay, I think this is enough sticks. That's enough sticks, yes. Let's go do this. So I need to go and get some air duster, um, some compressed air, and get this thing cleaned out properly as well. Like. The heat sink on the water cooling system needs taking out and just giving a good spraying. Uh, the fans need really, really properly dealing with as well, and any nooks and crannies, but also the filters on the fronts, like on the mesh. The mesh filters need taking out and airing out and, you know, dare I say, beating out. You brought British dust to Canada. I did. Shh, don't tell anybody. That's contamination, sir. So, yeah, um, I need to give it a good, 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 proper, detailed cleaning. No, don't call the police. No, call the popo. Where's the fence that I, um, I began? I know I've got a fence that I'm halfway through making. Is it down here? Ah, it's this one. It's for this house. The one that I'm not building first. Very weird. Send the Mounties. 
Send the dust police. So if they arrested me for that, would that be uh, considered dust busting? Huh? Yeah, she's see, she's not impressed. She's just walking away like that was terrible. <laughs> oh no, I forgot to turn the bot on. Hang on. Maybe it was something I was forgetting this morning. It is loading now. You watch, it'll probably not connect now. It'll be like you need to reauthorize your stuff. You disappoint me yet again. I know, I'm sorry, Dad. One more time, Alchemist, <laughs> if you wish. Or oh, has the moment gone now? Ooh, you suck. There we go. And all is right with the world. I do indeed wish. I thought you did. like building fences and it just kind of it adds a layer to the town right like without the fences it just looked like a collection of houses now it's looking like an actual town people have front yards and there's light sticks everywhere and there's fires burning looking pretty good i do kind of wish the in-house lighting options were better like I could uh, decorate on the wall, put a candlestick there, but look at, look at like how much light that kicks out, that gives you nothing. And we need 5,000 building technology just to make it. Um, and if we did the roof, we could put a proper lantern there. Again, 2,500 technology for a lantern, 5,000 for a candle. I feel like these things need to be readdressed and rebalanced by the devs. Because it makes very little sense to me. Like on a realistic scale. Really, like, I mean, I know I've said it before as well with, um, uh, with the, the kitchen, with the bread. You know, bread being like potentially one of the oldest known prepared food substances known to man. And I need like... 5,000 or 10,000 technology points to figure out how to make a, a like a flatbread. And if you can make that, you can also make all the fancy loaves as well. Because they all need the same level of technology. And I just think, shouldn't we just start with a basic bread and a basic soup and a basic meat thing? And then as your technology points grow, you can get like more elaborate foods this feel to me to be a little bit strange okay that's that fence um i mean if we're gonna also be working on the chicken coop may as well fence it in They don't have bread, let them eat cake. Oh boy. We don't even have cake. Medieval days, we don't know what cake is. Last person that tried to bake a cake, they burned her as a witch. When you build the coop, uh, get then get me some ice cream from there. <laughs> the coop, not the co-op. So 
size. We need cows, maybe, uh, to get the milk first, to then turn it into the ice cream. Oh, my hammer broke. Damn. All right, food. Oh, there's fur. Where did I get fur from? Oh, I just picked those up. I'm like, where did I get this random fur? Oh my god, my memory. I tell you guys. Eat this really old stew. We're going to get a bunch more, a uh, bunch more food. Cheap ass hammer. It is. It's sadly um, very basic. Should probably start looking at upgrading. You know, to things like, um, like at least a copper hammer, maybe. I'm gonna grab these two older stews out of here and eat those as well. I have a porridge. I should eat that, actually. Yeah, let's do that. No wonder it's flimsy, you made it with random sticks. No, those were very carefully selected sticks, thank you very much. Put the leather in here for now. I'll move the fur over there. Um, well, I guess... Grab another log. These wooden bowls away. And let's make another hammer. Carefully selected to be shit. I can't help it if I have those standards. Uh, fur. Oh, firewood. Yeah, I'm carrying firewood as well. That needs to go in here. We don't need that. I don't need to be carrying this around in my pockets. Uh, we have an extra bow and an extra axe. And we have... I'll leave the sticks for now. We'll carry on with the fence in the daylight. The standards are bad and you should feel bad. You'd think so, right? But no. Mm -mm. Put all those away. Carefully selected all the bad sticks, leaving the good ones to rot. Well, you've got to use the bad ones up before they fully rot. Okay, that's the idea. It is a Zoidberg reference, yes. And that that was a terrible attempt. To, and even Not even attempting an impression, just kind of happened. That was weird. Good old Zoidberg. That's so much to teach us. Man, we're halfway through winter already? Damn. These need ten sticks each for the gates. Okay. And another one over here. We just run into the gates? Yeah. There we go. Nice! That's gonna be so cool when it's done. Also, one winter is too warm. What can we get up to today? I guess I should go and uh, sell some of this stuff that's been gathering. Can I make any more bags before I go? Oh, and uh, let's see how the guy went with making buckets. Get rid of that random beer bottle. Bunch of leather. I'll get that out. Mead bottles. I have no idea where these are coming from. There's the wicker basket. Looks like he didn't finish 
Making a bucket. But that's fine. Unless he put it in his own chest. No. And end up over there. And did it end up in here? No. Okay. I guess not. Where are we going to send these to sell? We haven't been to Denica. So let's let's head that way. Let's check the road and make sure it's clear. Yes, Hulu's making a new series of Futurama. I saw that too. Feels like it's not needed anymore. It's been, you know, like dredging it up for nostalgia's sake. Has that ever worked at all for anything? ever in the history of TV? Probably not. It has never really worked. But yeah, let's hope they don't destroy it, because that would suck. If they make something good, awesome. If not, then, well... Surprising me though that it's on Hulu, right? Like, I would have expected it to be on Disney+, Plus because... Isn't it still owned, like, isn't it owned by Fox, uh, still owned by Fox, and um, that's all Disney Plus? Because all the Simpsons stuff's on there now. Don't trust anyone with handling good stuff. No, and as well you shouldn't, because, yeah, like I said, if they're just doing it as a nostalgia cash grab, it's going to be terrible. They don't treat it with the respect it's, it's owned, or if they try to do their own thing with it. Oh, hello. This is new. A water skin. Another fur. Empty bundle. Hmm. Yeah, if they just try to, like, do their own thing with it and make it theirs and say, well, it's Futurama, but it's our take on Futurama. It's like, get out of here with that. Go make a different show then. Don't call it Futurama. That's right, they do own Hulu, you're right. I forgot about that. Never knew that water can have a skin. You didn't know that there's a membrane on water, like the, the surface. It's how insects, like really small insects, land on the water and don't sink. Technically, you could call it a skin. gonna sell everything to Kinga. Whatever you need, I've got it. Well, I don't need anything from you, but I've got lots of stuff you might want. Dried meat, for instance. For whatever reason you might want fur, you can burn it to, for fuel in the fire, maybe. Oh, I didn't make the rest of the uh, thingies. Bags. One moment here, Kinga. Uh, don't mind me, just gonna make six bags <laughs> while you cook. Surface tension physics jokes, yes. Hello there. Only the best products here. Oh right. Uh 17 simple bags. I don't know what you're gonna use them for. You could store cheese in them, perhaps. Same with the wicker basket, so you could put your cherries in the wicker basket. That water skin we picked up had four water in it. Cool. Alright, we're slowly but surely. Building up more money again. Got a copper knife. Oh, I should have uh, put that away. Got an iron knife. I don't think I need to buy anything from her. Or anything at all in this town, come to think of it. I swear to God, if I see... Nope, okay. If I see a three production on someone here, I'm going to scream. But there is a quest. Uh, who has the quest? Are we here somewhere? Gotta go around... And out the other side. I'd like to be able to make stone walls as well. Those are gonna look really good in the town when we... When we upgrade to those. In fact, can I have those now? No, we need a lot more building tech. We could buy standard wood fence, or log fences, that's as, as good as we can get. Look 
how big their fields are compared to mine. Hello there. What do you need help with? An errand? What do you want from me? I pledged to create some plants for local folk and ran out of materials. Okay. Never seen this quest before. I have no idea what we're into. Oh, Disenchantment on Netflix. That was very good. Yeah, I, did, I wasn't sure about it at first. I watched... Back when I still had Netflix and that came out, I watched the first, like, two episodes and I was like... Huh? So I left it, and then a couple of days later I thought, I'm gonna watch it again. And I carried on watching. And as I watched, I'm like, okay, I get it. This is good. Alright, what does this person want us to do? Old rags. You want leather? Well, that's okay. We will get I just had leather. And five flax. Um, that will probably end this season, right? Yeah. Our flax isn't going to be ready by then. I'm going to have to buy some flax for her. We have new technologies, though. Do resource storage to upgrade. That would be good to do. Should probably uh, get on that. Smithy's coming up to level 2 as well soon. What else did we get to level 2? I feel like you're yeah, the hunting lodge. This will allow us to make things like recurve bows, bigger fishing nets, which I've never used, and uh, moose trophies and sheep fur rugs. And they probably get more efficient at hunting, I guess. But we've got a couple of buildings we can upgrade now as well. It's gonna be good. Also lived inside job, that shit got cancelled and that annoys me. Uh, yeah, I mean, I haven't had Netflix in a long time now. Mainly because they do that a lot. You know, they're like, oh, hey, here's a new series! And then they get to the end of the first season, like, did it not meet completely, fully our expectations on ratings? Cancel it. Like they did with 1899. Which, from what I hear, people who watched it loved it. But it didn't get the ratings, so they cancelled it. It's like, you know, the, the, the creators, like the writers of it and everything, the creative people that were behind it, they were not happy. And it's like, well, you chose to do business with Netflix, who are notorious for cancelling things. <laughs> they, they, like, every year will put out 40 new shows and cancel, like, 80% of them. Or just consider them one and done. I guess they're, they're throwing, like, lots of stuff at the wall to see what sticks first, and whichever doesn't gets thrown away. Um, they do that all the time. But also, there's other reasons why I don't have them anymore. Beyond the money, uh, beyond the whole monthly cost, just kind of being there every month, you know? And it's nice not to have that. The shit with Inside Job, though, is that they had already promised another season and went back on their word and cancel it. Yes, and I, I think they did that with 1899, or they gave... I don't think they gave, like, a promise for another season, but they gave the impression that they were on board for more than one season. And then they cancelled it after one season, which is why the creative people behind it were so, like, taken back. They were like, what? But we thought we were... Getting several seasons out of you, and they're like, well, it didn't get ratings, so... Oh, okay. Um, what are we doing back here now? What did I want to do? Um, I can put that leather away. So we just sold a bunch of stuff. I should probably stash the money that I got. And I kind of feel like I want to up the production a little bit more on the woodshed. Like, get me a couple more logs per day, if you please. Alright. 
I put about half the coin away. A copper knife that we don't need. And actually I'm going to get rid of that extra water skin for now as well. I'm just going to leave it in here. Yeah, so the writers set up stuff for another season and get told and, and get told, yeah, fuck you, yeah, exactly. That's what they do. It's like, you know, maybe eventually they'll burn enough people that nobody will work with them in the future and they'll realize and stop doing that. I would much rather they put out three or four good shows that they intend to follow through on so that other people can go elsewhere. There's plenty of services out there. There's HBO and there's Paramount and so many other people that are getting in and into this like in-house production to, you know, um, streaming service <coughs> game. There's Hulu, Disney, they're all doing it now, you know, and yeah, they could go find patronage elsewhere. And hopefully then they'll be they will stand by them okay what are we doing um we need hmm. what does it come under is it extraction it's hunting isn't it let's let's go do we have to build this as a building or does it go over the original let's find out probably goes over the original like all the others do and you can probably build it as a building but yeah I wouldn't go to HBO, Warner Bros. has been on a cancel spree too. That's true, yeah. Hulu might be a safe bet, uh, but you'd basically be working for Disney, which is another thing. Mm. Ah, yes, yeah. so we can either build it, or we can just stick it over the other building. Let's place it. Oh no, it took everything away. We need to rebuild this fast. Oh shit, it needs locks. Well, we have plenty of food for now. I kind of hoped it would just want me to upgrade a few things. Well, I guess it is. It's, it's building it out of logs instead of sticks, so... Okay. I may need to go chop some trees down myself to get this done pretty rapid. Need to leave a few logs in here for the... Um, for the workshop and the smithy, and also for the woodshed to use. Otherwise, they run out of materials and then everything grinds to a halt until you go and inject a bunch into them again and say, here you go. Tubi might be a good service to go with, but I don't know what kind of budget they'd be able to provide. Well, that's the thing as well, right? It's like, would they be able to actually do the show justice? I got my iron axe. There's uh, there's stumps out here as well. Look, how do I just leave a bunch of stumps out here? That's a whole other log into itself. That big maple there. Let's get that. Maybe that one over there. So what I don't want to do is just clear cut the whole forest. I want to run through and pick out some of the more mature trees that are in there. Gotta run and get ready for work. No problem, Alchemist. Thanks for hanging out, dude. Take care of yourself and have a good day at work. We will see you again, I'm sure. We got plenty on the schedule this week. Uh, we'll get this one as well. Wow, this is a big tree. Big daddy tree. Stay fresh, cheese bags. <laughs> you too. Have a good one. How are we doing weight-wise? I can probably get one more tree. More maples back here. 
Thank you, appreciate it. <laughs> One for the road. Really? The tree is being held up by its uh, fellow neighbors. See, that's what friends do, you know? They hold up their other friends. But then I come along and smash it into little bits, so... Hey, there we go, that gave me just enough. Hunting hut's over there. I can't believe I'm doing manual labor. God. This is why I employ people in my town. I kind of wish the woodshed could have more than one person running it. Maybe if you get to level two woodshed, that would have extra slots for extra people. But I doubt it. Somehow doubt it. And we need planks for the roof. Oh, interesting. The hunting hut is out of commission until we fix it up. But that's okay. Bad piggy. I'm gonna stay away from bad piggy. Those guys suck. Fully deserve to get turned into bacon. Okay, really now, what is with these gravity-defying maple trees? I'm gonna quick save. I've been killed by trees before. In this situation. Like, you take the stump out from underneath them and then they somehow just leap backwards into your face. these can do. They don't look as big, but they will give the same amount of wood, which is another weird thing I find about this game. The uh, smaller trees, once they get to the harvesting level, they give you the same amount of wood as the fully developed ones. It's simply cosmetic at that point. Oh, we can get... well, get that one there. I'm going for the maples because they have the most wood per tree, and it just takes less time as a result. Alright, food. Food must be consumed. And I have not really enough for another tree. Back. Keep away from bad piggy. Dookie. Yeah, we are going to need to make a bunch of planks as well. We're probably not going to get this one done today. See, I need like what six planks for each roof. That's um twelve logs in total. Plus an individual log for each, so I need 12... 14 more logs. So we might get this done today, but I need to go grab my other axe, because this one's getting close to breaking.
I will take this one. Okay. I'm gonna go down there. Already kind of harvested a bunch up there. Let's take a few from down here. Quite a few maples down this way. Thin out the forest a little bit. Ah, the crops! You go crushing my rye. That's chicken feed. Take this one. That should be ten logs. One more tree. This is a big one. I don't want to leave that one there. Take this one over here. It's a rather interesting looking tree. Right, that should be enough. I go back and make um, 24 planks. My math holds right, which it, we will find out it probably doesn't. Don't tell me if it doesn't, I want to find out the hard way. Uh, we should have one log spare and everything we need to finish the hunting hut. And I still need to deliver logs to the guy who needs a new house. We need ten more logs for him, so I'm going to have to chop down two more maples, because Waiting for the woodshed to finish it is taking a while. So, uh, hi, could you uh, please just stop? Thank you. My turn. No, 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 I need to craft. Twelve of them. That'll give two planks each, right? Planks. I should have three left. That should get the job done. Is this Animal Crossing music right? Uh, let's have a look. I don't actually have the, uh, the channel open. Yep. Yeah. Isabel's theme. Um, remake by a person called Nook and Chill. Game chops. Becoming my go to internet radio station for doing Mellow Monday. Math was correct. So there's a salting barrel. And salt meat and fish if we have salt. Still have the drying rack and we still have the craft bench, but now it'll have a whole bunch of new stuff in it that we can unlock. If we pay for them. But I'm not doing that yet. is almost dead. I'll keep the other one on me and we will go and put this log away. So I guess the next day I'll go and grab a bunch more uh, to deliver for the quest. 
I may actually go and just chop some logs down close to the quest location. There's loads of sticks now as well. Nice. Balls away. one and we have the old rags yeah we need to get flax um i'm gonna have to go and buy some aren't i though from a farmer there's a farmer in that town so i'll just take seven leather with me when i go out what i need to do is get some more soup and i remember seeing wow all the stews have gone how are we doing for supplies then let's just see there's tons of cabbages and carrots Eggs haven't even been used yet. Uh, mushroom soups. Enough mushrooms for soups? Plenty of meat. But we only have parasols and we only have bullets. Oh, and we have red pines as well. Okay, so they can make mushroom soup still. Okie dokie, well I'll take a porridge. There are no stews. Hmm. We need beetroots. Why am I telling them to make soup? I don't grow beetroot and I haven't bought beetroot. I should probably go and buy a bunch of beetroot then. But maybe not right now. So other than that, I mean this scrambled egg tell them to start making scrambled egg again. Now that we have eggs. Um, leather. So they want seven leather. I have nine. Sweet. I have flax stock. I don't have flax. That's different. Flax is before you thresh it, and then you get stalks and you get seeds. Stalks you turn into linen. I don't think I left any over here, did I? Tell you as well, one of the things I am going to need to make is fertilizer. Totally forgot about that. pull a fully lit torch right out of their butt. It's so funny. Let's put the fertilizer away. Now have 86. You should have more than enough to get started next year. Because in the spring, this wheat field will be ready to harvest. The carrots. So that'll be 50 fertilizer required for that. 75 required when the rye is done. And all these fields will be full in the spring. Okay, five apple trees. I should probably make some more. Um, we do have three more seedlings that we just found. So I could put those uh, spaces down. Make another row. Get two more seedlings and make another five. We do have hop seedlings. There's no point in growing those until we can get anything else. Plums, maybe? I could get plum seedlings. They're very expensive though. That's one of the things about the seedlings. They're very expensive. Oh. 
Okay. So we need to buy flax, and we need to buy, um, beet. Oh, and it's snowing! Hey! We've got to do one over there, and we've got to do uh, one over there. That's going to take a while. Let's go and get this house quest uh, done first. I'm going to chop a few trees down further over there. Okay, and if we get uh, two maple trees, we, we only have ten um, wood that we need to deliver, so that'll give us the ten wood with the stump. And then we're going to run the other way. And buy some flax, some beets, Turn the flax in with the quest. Yeah. We can do a few things back and forth. problems in my town. Oh, I also have skills. Oh, I didn't see these. Okay. Um, what can we put this into? Pretty much done everything but that. So let's finish that off. And then we can start working on these. Builders Transom, Builders Master. Take this maple. Oak. And one of these over here. Maybe a bit further off the path. And this guy right here. Do just fine. Okay. And this iron axe has lasted so long. Oof. One of these days we'll get to the point where we're able to keep ourselves flush with iron tools. That'll be nice. That'll be a good day. Aye. So here's the materials you wanted. And you're going to show me some building techniques. Nice. Alright, we need to go to the other place now. Oh, but is there a farmer here, I wonder? No, just a crafter and a chicken farmer. He sees getting really hot. I need to give it a good cleaning. Oh, 
end up finishing soon as a result. Normally I'd have the door open, but with the smoke today being as bad as it is, mm -mm. nope. So the heat in here is building. Oh, there's a car here. I may have already looted this one. Oh no, maybe not. There's an iron hoe. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, um, I was going to look at... <laughs> totally forgot. What are problems in the town? What are the problems? Hunting lodge. No worker. Oh, what? They actually removed the worker? Man. Um... Why is this guy unhappy, by the way? That's silly. Uh, so Sully Ghost is here. There you go. Get back to work, dude. It remembered the work schedule, though, which is good. But it hasn't made it more efficient. Interesting. But there are two additional slots now to add hunters to. You used to be able to assign two people. Now you can assign four. Interesting. Wow, the heat under here is no joke. So this table, it has like a, a metal frame under it that goes around, and then the legs come down from that. That frame is hot. Or warm, I would say, not hot. Touch it, it's warm. dude needs to eat again. He's so hungry. He needs to eat like three meals in the morning and the evening. the weather effects in this game. As if anything, the snow makes it even more mellow, you know? What would be good is if on snowy days it actually started piling up. That would be cool. You could actually see it, like, heaping up and around. Uh, what is, what is going on here? What is... Where are you going? See you soon. Oh, she's... Ah, she's the, um, stone collector. Oh, she's probably just hunting for stone. That makes sense. So to finish these walls, I only need to get some more logs. Um, do the roof as well, though. Even more logs, and also the attic space in each one, so... Yeah. So that one of the production job, I'm going to guess, is the uh, kitchen. Look. Saying they have no resources for the soup, which we're going to go and fix right now. I kind of wish you could ignore those, you know, and be like, yeah, that's fine. We, we don't have any of those now, but I know we will because we're harvesting them later or something like that. And you could just, like, silence them until they, like clear off and then come back again later, then it should take it off silence. That would be a nice feature, I think, a nice quality of life feature for this game. So I don't need bugging about the fact that we don't have beets, 
in my kitchen for soup because I don't really care right now. <laughs> and eventually when we do get enough beets to make soup, then cool. And then when we run out of them, then bug me about it again and I will tell you again, I don't care. But be my medieval, like, Chamberlain or my serf or something that comes up to me like, Sire, dire news from the kitchen. I'm out of beets. No soup! And I will go, I don't care. And they will go, oh, very well. Do not bother me with these things until they become important again. That would be, a, I, I'd like that. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd like that a lot. Just being able to open up a little element on the UI and saying, do not bother me. And you know, I've realized now as well where I've moved my camera is actually blocking all of the stuff that's behind me. Well, the one thing that's behind me that tells me that there's a problem in the town. Like a little anvil with a hammer and a little sheet of paper, basically telling you there's production problems that you need to fix. Dagobert? Yo, Chad, did you just literally chug some mead right there in front of me? Does your dad know about this? I'm gonna go and tell him. Greetings, stranger. Uh, yeah, show me your wares. I need to buy, first of all, flax. How many did we need again? Five, I think, right? And I would like to buy... Oh, not all of your beetroots. Jesus, that's, that's going to bankrupt me. 20 of them, then. Sure. Not going to go very far, but... See you soon. Okay. By the way, your kid was drinking, like, booze or something out here. What's next? Smoking? I'm watching you. Uh, where's the quest giver? Here somewhere, right? Quest giver has already left town. Come back here, you! Oh no, they haven't. They're, already, they're still in town. They were just deceiving me. Hiding behind the building. Hey, where are you going? Come here. I have things for you. Do you have what I need? Here, I got it all as promised. And they gave me one linen thread. Very weird. Okay. We were going to do Alwyn's quest as well at some point. Um, I think I said I was going to do it in the winter. So we'll do that, and we can do Unagost as well at some point. But we're not going to do the, the archery thing today while it's snowing, because it's going to be hard to see what we're doing. Plus, I'm going to take my stone arrows rather than my uh, copper ones. Right, well, we did that. I can go and put this linen thread away. Why am I carrying rot still? Carrying eight rot? Didn't I put all that? Oh, no, no, no. I put all the fertilizer away. I'm just carrying rotten gunk in my pockets. Nice. But because you need ten for each one, there was eight spare that couldn't be used. Go and put that back in the barn then. Random ass stone axe. Oh, this is where I killed those bandits in autumn, right? That's right. I wondered when I ran over here, I thought I saw a percentage of like something's health indicator, and I'm like, what? Well, we'll go and put this in the storage house as well. The cudgels will sell. 
How damaging are they? 20 damage. Versus 45 of an axe. May as well have an axe. How does it compare to a stone axe? 30. Why would you ever need a cudgel? Oh right, there's these uh, stumps as well. Let me grab these. Add these to the pile for now. Come and do a round of building next. We will have uh, have what we need. Cudgel put away. Put all these feathers away as well. Sell those. Um, nothing else to go in there for now. There's beetroots we need to put away. Uh, they will put iron hoe in here because I don't need that. I'll let my farmers use it. The logs, the linen thread. Bunch of sticks, a stone axe, two wooden bowls, and the rot. It's nice having all my uh, production and storage buildings so close to each other. I kind of like that. Nope. Wrong place. I wonder what happens to the storage house when we um, try to build... Where would it come under, actually? Storage? Yeah. Resource storage when we try to do that to it. Does it render it useless? Because it didn't render the, um, the workshop useless when we did that. Nor did it really render the, um, uh, the hunting lodge useless. We just couldn't assign somebody to the hunting lodge till we finished, right? And we didn't have anybody in the workshop, so if I do that, I'm still going to be able to use this, but are, is everybody else going to be able to use the resources within? That's what I'm worried about, because if they can't, I don't want to build that until I have tons and tons of stuff sitting around, like I need to go and chop down a bunch of trees, make a whole bunch of planks, and then I can build it quick. But we'll probably hold off doing that for now. Probably do that in the spring would be a good idea. Uh, beetroots, right, we'll have beetroots to put in here. Finally the kitchen can stop belly aching about not having any. anything else we could make really that I want to do for now uh, we've got a sewing hook the kitchen's done smithy we're getting close to smithy 2 we've done workshop 2 tavern yeah like I said that's a long way off so I'm not gonna make that the end goal for this particular season uh, we want an air and I think at the very least uh, we should have a donkey uh, which means we need a donkey hut, which I should probably map out where I want it to go. I said it was going to go over here somewhere, right? Since we can now build it. The donkey shelter could go... Can it actually go here? Oh no, there's rocks there, so it can't go there. Can I get this to come closer to me? No. I kind of thought it would go in that little slot there, but it's just a little bit too big. I'd have to put it somewhere like here, wouldn't I? Or I'll turn it sideways. Ooh, let's do that, yeah. 
So we can't put it in like that, but... It's not going to work. So somewhere around there where we can get it. Although we probably need like a yard in front of it as well, don't we? So I'm going to push it further back. Up there. This is all just planning for the future as well. I'm not actually going to make it for now. So we can put a bit of a token fence around it. rocks kind of in the way. No, it doesn't seem to be like I can put it there, but I can't actually build. I can actually build the fence through it. But I could start a fence there, which is really strange. Let's just do it from here then. That's going to look good. That's going to be a gap. Let's just not have that. Wait, this screwed up. Kind of fixable, though. There we go. Yeah. That's where our donkey's going to be, because if this is going to be where I gather all my trade goods, right, then, you know, might as well have the donkey stable directly opposite. Okay, um, how's the meat situation looking? We have some dried meat. Another 50. Yes. Yeah. Go to our new hunter's lodge. And we'll go and dry some meats. Yeah, long-term plan. Um, get some chickens. Get those started up so that we can get a steady flow of eggs. I mean, as long as we even get like a couple of eggs a day, I don't really care, you know. As long as we make enough that we can keep up with the kitchen's demand for eggs. Then we're good. And then we can look at how they're eating. And then we get a good idea then of, like, I guess what the donkeys will need, because if, if we can't keep up with feeding chickens, we cannot keep up with feeding donkeys, and we need to expand farming. But that'll then become the next job. Bigger farming. More farming. Lots of farming. We have a level 6 farmer now, so we should be good. Uh, but I can maybe dismantle the fields we have and just make them into much bigger fields. And if they'll go anywhere, they'll go over this side. Which is further away from the farming hut, but, you know, whatever. Or we could put them down here, maybe. I think we can... If we put farms down, it will probably clear these rocks, right? So, we could either do that. Put them in up here. Like, there's all this land. Could just be turned over to farms. But if we can't feed the chickens, we'll need to boost that. We'll need to, like, quadruple the farming or something. So we'll prepare to do that. Then we'll start working on the donkey. And once we've got an heir and a donkey, 
we'll consider that season done. And if we can do it by next winter, that'll be great. But it's going to involve a lot of trading. Yeah. And again, my guy's hungry. Why is he so hungry? Eat your stew. Just like a good guy, I will put the bowls back in storage. We're still some way off, like, hitting bowl storage. We're, you know, nowhere near filling this thing yet. So we don't really need a big storage place as an urgency either. Yeah. Okay, what did she make for the day? What feasts can I have? Take the scrambled egg, I'll take the potage. Seems to be running low on food though. We have enough for the, f um, the actual demand for another day. Plenty. Getting close to running out of water. How are we looking? Oh, the bucket. The, ow. Sorry. Sorry. Ooh. Bursting out of a door and running headlong into somebody. Oh, we have several buckets now. Nice. Those are all sellable. Well, actually, yeah, let's get those out. That's the other thing that was in my brain. I was struggling, like... What do I need to do here? Buckets... Um, how do we just keep getting mead bottles? Where are they coming from? Is somebody drinking my mead? I bet, I bet uh, the wife character is drinking the mead in the house. Because of course she would have access to that as food, right? If you don't have a food storage, you put food in people's houses instead in their chests. And then that's considered theirs. I bet that's what's going on. Well then, that's where all these bottles keep appearing from, like the empty bottles from the consumption. Alright, put those buckets in there. Bottles need to get sold, the wicker baskets. And let's fill a bucket with water. Get it in the food storage. Eventually you can hire somebody to do this, you know. It just doesn't seem very necessary for how quickly they go through water at this point. Eventually, if they go through a bucket of water a day, I will happily hire a person to stand there and fill a bucket every day and put it in the uh, food storage to keep people well watered and have like a bucket or two as a buffer. How many spare logs do we have? Got a few. I'm gonna bring 12. See if we can make a little more progress on this house. Need E for the attic. Okay. Better do it first person for these bits. Top bits done here. The log in each roof section. Still have one more. I'll go and get that last one, and then I know they're all done. And I should probably grab all the straw. Just take it all. Take it all! Finish this off. And then we only have to do the walls. I could be making better roofs by now as well, but... 
we can always upgrade them bit by bit over time. in the way I can't get to the roof there we go just saying I know that if we made the roof out of planks ooh, that's gonna use up a lot of planks it's like three or four logs per roof section because it needs like twice as many of that as planks Very resource hungry. But we've nearly done this house now. Um, oh! Ah! Damn. I missed a roof section. Guys, why didn't you tell me? Straw. It's only eight, right? Yeah, I think it's eight. Man! There we go. So all we need is logs, the walls, and it's done. How many do we need to stack up? One, two, four, six, eight, and ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen logs. All the logs. And we get to do it all again with that house. Hey, <laughs> and then the other one over there. And the herbalist hut. And the chicken coop. It's a nice orange glow in the snow. Very scenic. How's the rest of the town doing though? I think overall I, I was going to do a lot of repairs. I was like, oh yeah, we're probably going to need to do some repairs at some point during this winter. Even though things are in the 90s and so on. But nothing seems to repair. And it doesn't seem to show a list of ingredients of what I need to repair. So, I'm guessing that until it reaches a certain percentage of, like, degradation, it can't be repaired. It's not like, you know, oh, you need one stone to repair this stone wall because it got down to, like, 70%, and now that missing 30 constitutes one stone, you know? Like, until it gets to that bare minimum, you probably can't repair anything. All right. So, what else do we have to do? We have these, the Unagost and Alwyn story. And... We have houses to build, we've got an extra farmer, we now have somebody... Ow, splat, thank you. We now have somebody working in the, uh, the workshop, making trade goods, that's taking a little bit off my plate. So we can start stacking up wicker baskets and buckets and sell those. Um, they're occasionally making additional plates and dishes, which will probably end up with way more than than we need. I'm a little worried about food production. Finding... We're only running at 64% though. I'm finding that they're struggling to get food out to meet my requirements as well as that I'm eating the town out of house and home here, so, you know. Meat with gravy is probably the better one to put up. Told them to make a scrambled egg a day. So we can at the very least get some of this going. So they're going to need nearly a roast meat a day, and we're going to have Point three spare. That's good. Don't 
think we have any problems here. We are going to run out of eggs very quickly, though. They, they, they do go down very fast. It's like three of them equals one meal, so... Yeah. And we've only got a couple of days left in winter. So yeah, I am going to save it there. Guys, it's getting really hot in here. So uh, I'm going to have to get out of here now and give my PC a rest because it's really burning. 